I was working in the lab late one night when my eye beheld a Hey, so welcome back to the Ultimate Haunted House. I think the sound was off in the last part, so apologies for that. That was a mistake. Anyways, let's carry on. So, I think I'm still in waiting for something to cook in the oven. So in the meantime, let's try playing in the music room. First things first. And I know this will make the house mad. But let's throw something useless out the window. You never know. If you throw something out. Take that, you dirty rat. Oh no. <laughs> Just kidding. I was gonna say if you throw something out, you might get something back. And that guy can curse you. Guess he forgot to <laughs> reload or something. So have we listened to all the music in here yet? Mm. Oh. Well, that was beautiful. I think we are still carrying a record around in our bag, too. Can we give this a listen? Oh! See, there we go. We've got something back. Let's close the window and listen to this. Mm -hmm. Experiment log number 310. Oh. To exploit the particular nature of this house, I must understand it better. In this experiment, I sought to determine the extent to which the spirit, or will, of the house affects those living inside it. The procedure consisted of deliberately angering the house and observing the inhabitants' behavior. In order to anger the house, I went on a destructive rampage and slammed doors, broke things, and harassed the creatures, driving the house into a terrible rage, as I knew it would. The result? As I suspected, the inhabitants were affected by the house's mood. All of them became hostile. The final conclusive evidence is that even the kid attacked me. This is proof positive that no one, even the most innocent, is immune to the mental influence of the house. This result also supports the theory that the house itself is a- The house itself is what? Yeah. I don't know, it could be... could be that the house is alive. Uh... Might make sense. Okay. Let's go check on the oven. Yeah, the house doesn't look too angry. The fire in the fireplace and up here, like the flames will get larger when the house gets really angry. So, so far so good. Igor, this 
liver has dirt on it. Of course it has dirt on it. I got it out of a grave. Yeah, what did I tell you? Igor is a grave digger. Is our food ready? Get out of the kitchen. It'll be ready when it's ready. Oh, guess not. Um. Hmm. Well, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot we can do in here. Oh, hello, kid. Uh-oh. There's something for you. Thank you. This is for you now. Okay, we can use this. This is the crystal ball. It belongs to the vampires, but I know of someone else who would really like to have it. Oh, another key. Oh, good thing we cut up that weird blob. Let's go put that away. Did someone just appear? I heard someone appear, but I don't see anyone. That's weird. Uh, okay. Uh... Here's our bear again. Oh, the house is so active right now. This is probably not going to be quick to solve. Uh, okay. 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 Ah, uh, so close. Okay. Seriously, so close. Ah. Uh, it's like the worst when you're like, I had it. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Back to the library. Yeah, so quick intro to this character. Uh, this lady was reading a book, but if you touch the book, or if you... If you touch the book, or if you touch her at all, she will just collapse. Because there is a curse on her. So to break the curse, she needs a few items. One of which is this crystal ball. Some snake. I wonder if the spell book is in here. Spell book. Oh, is this it? That was a lucky coincidence. Okay. Spell bag out of the way. Yeah, she is under the curse of evil. Yeah, this is what she needs. Okay. 
now, Buck. Let's just hand this over. Hopefully she gives us something better than a snake this time. I have this spell. All I need is a crystal ball and a hand mirror, and I can break the curse. Okay, so she didn't. And you already have the crystal ball, we just gave it to you. Okay, if this gets too frustrating to solve, I'm not going to bother. It's not really that useful. Uh. That wasn't so bad. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the kitchen. I really don't want whatever I put in there to just like dissolve again like it did last time. I want to get something back from it. So let's go. What is this? How did that thing get in here? Yes! Ah, yes, another key. Okay. We are doing pretty well. I think we're at eight keys and it's only four o'clock. So we only have five more to go. That's actually, like, that's awesome. Let's dig into this pie. And another eyeball. Is this what you want? How charming. Something I can sink my teeth into. Okay. Well, nothing nothing lost anyways. Uh, let's cut this open too and see if there's anything. Oh, we can't. Oh, I thought we could. Guess not. Okay, so now we've gotten a key from here, a key, a key from the pot, a key from the oven, and a key from opening something up. I don't know if you can get keys from opening, like, a bunch of different things up. Like, if you can only get a key, like, one key from each place. That counts as different places if you open different things up. to do next. We're on a good roll, so we gotta keep it up. Miracle might take the eyeball is those little cockroach guys downstairs. Yeah, they only like small things. So maybe they would like a random eyeball. I don't know. I don't know how they live.
Okay, let's call him out. something back? Well, I don't know. But it could be a good idea. Well, maybe I give something back. Do something. Well, we don't get something back. We don't give it back. We don't. Well, I guess we do it. We not do it. Maybe what do you want to do? I don't care. Hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Bagpipes. Oh, hello. We haven't met these guys yet. This is Herbert and Chauncey, a two-headed monster. So they like gross things like blood and guts and maybe a head. I think they also like toys. Do we like this? Yeah, we love it. Maybe they're still hungry. Mm, I don't really have anything else that they like eat. Uh, I think that they like toys too. I hate to give them the kid's teddy bear, but... Thanks! I guess. Aw, oh, it's a cutie woody. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I didn't think they were gonna eat it. All we got is this weird slime? Ah. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. We got the better end of the deal on that one. Okay. Well, I don't really want that. Um. I have a lot of things I don't really want. Uh, what if we throw it this way? Oops. Oh, what is he doing here? Ah, real nice. Stick around for a while, and maybe I got something for you. I don't really want to stick around in here with Frank in here, but... I'm fresh out of the good stuff. How about this instead? Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Okay. Let's Try get out of... throwing things out the music room window. He seems friendly. He seems friendlier than usual, Frank. So that's a good tip. Uh, already done it, but it's a good tip. We only need four more, so let's quickly save this game. So what are we at? We are at nine keys, four o'clock.
Okay, let's call it quits for this part and we'll be back to hopefully get the rest of the keys and escape from this house soon. Thanks for watching.